Hello everyone. So today we are going to work on how to dynamically capture this image for the map and show it here in our HUD. So if I stop the game and detach, uh, move away, you see this is our map and here you can see an image is captured from that map like this and if I make any changes to the map so here let me go to landscape mode and sculpt something like this here see now the landscape is not this island was not alone anymore it's connected to the main landscape and in the map manager I switch to the selection mode map manager here if I recapture now you see this image is updated and if I play the game you see the updated image is shown here so yeah this is what we are going to work on today and before we get started let me remind you that you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects I have done in my channel from the Patreon page. Once you become a member, you can access everything without any limits. And also here is the full playlist of this series. Everything is shared and explained uh, from scratch. So you will be able to follow these steps and implement everything by yourself. So I'll leave the link to the full playlist also in the description below. So this is what we have implemented as of the last episode. I have this map manager class, which if here, if I press this capture map, but it is actually automatically capturing the map. Even if I don't press it. Uh, so here you can see an image, a top view image of this map is captured from the top. So, okay. And I need to put it in this section in my game. And the other thing is here, if I open this UI, I have a reference to the Age of Empires game that I'm referencing. Here under image, where is it? Yeah, here. This is the image that I'm referencing. So here, the map would appear like this. But as you can see, this is not exactly a top view image. It's more like an image captured from, it looks more like an image captured from the same angle as the player camera. That means, here if I play the game and detach and move away I would need an image maybe an isometric image captured with this angle so the player camera is uh, like this right. Controller for okay. right here, it has a forty-five degree angle, and here the camera is attached at the end of this spring arm. Spring arm, uh, the actor has a forty-five degree jaw, so it's like this. And the uh, spring arm also has a pitch 45 degree, so it has an angle like this. So I would need so the, the same angle for this uh, map manager actor that I'm using to capture. So right now it's just capturing from the top. So to edit that, I'll go to my C++ class where the map manager is defined. This is the map manager. So here I'll add a spring arm. For the 
scene capture component the property okay and over define this and then let's go back to C++ here create and initialize now bring on component okay attach it to the root component and here oh we would need to import spring arm component but it is not it is in the game framework so like this and then scene capture component i'll attach it to the spring arm component like this okay now i'll set the length and angle and everything from the blueprint it's easier it's more convenient to do those things in the blueprint side okay compilation done but this is not changed if i open the blueprint see this is also not changed not attached properly let's see capture format okay maybe i'll have to remember this first this drag and drop again update no close it so when this happens close it and rebuilding running the project from here works Okay, it's working after closing the closing down the editor properly. Oh, uh, my camera is like this. It is attached to the spring arm, but it is, but still it's in a position like this. That's because in initialize capture, scene capture component. Here I do change these stuff. That's relative location and rotation. So let me comment that part and compile again okay now it is correctly attached here to the spring arm i'll make it minus 45 okay and i think we would have to make this a bit longer like that to properly get the image so i don't do I have a map manager here no let me place it I'll make sure collision test is disabled otherwise if it is placed uh, beneath the landscape this might get shortened and yeah now it looks all right uh, but it's there should be a 45 degree angle oh sorry no not for this component but for the root like this so it would match the direction that we are looking at the game okay now here if i hit capture oh i haven't assigned this if I hit capture, this is how it is captured. So this is correct, but the problem is it's not it has uh, not capturing correctly the dimensions basically. So if I go to the top view, let's see. This is on the center. This what is this ocean plane? Okay, it is on the center and it's with 100,000 all right so maybe to match this 
this would be only half the size and this would be twice the size uh but that i mean if this part is hundred thousand this part would be only fifty thousand well we can test so what we can do is let's go back to perspective mode and then map i'll increase this to 200,000 and capture again okay now so this is oh the manage 150,000 works it seems and i'll make sure this is in the center so capture again okay i think this is good right now i go to ui and this so here this is where i want to show this so first go to map system let's create a material from this um, change this material domain to user interface this change this to must Okay, so I did this so that I can calculate the opacity part because alpha channel was not working in this captured image. So this may work. So now I apply this and go here. Here, let me add an image. Like this. Uh, be this is three forty three forty and right also three forty but Now I'll assign this material. Okay. Now as you can see here, this does not fit perfectly. But if I just this a little bit. Now this seems good enough and to test this dynamically changing here let me go to top view and add well actually we don't really need to go to top view it's not necessary but let me set to unlit so we can see it clearly and switch to landscape mode and under manage i'll add some additional components this so that we can test add some new landscape features here let's go to scout and add some islands here yeah now go to perspective mode here we have a little island and is it updated here yeah see 
now we have that little island here so yeah it looks like this if i play the game see we have this uh, main big island here and this small island over here so yeah now the system is working let me detach like this so all right uh so still you see there are some issues that we need to work on uh mainly this is just an image i didn't anchor it properly Maybe. yeah Five position X zero position Y. This but this wouldn't fix the issue. So we will look into how to set this up properly and how to sh uh, click on the map and jump into different sections in the map and also we might need to show characters maybe a dot a red dot to represent a character or a building on the red faction and a green dot for green faction stuff so something like that and yeah that's all i want to do for today so okay thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available for download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and let me know if you have any questions in the comments see you in another episode goodbye